Welcome to my VHS update. First release I have to show is this absolutely excellent, excellent release of Roadshow Home Videos House by the Cemetery. I was very happy to get this in such good condition. Uh, there you go. Let's look at the back. Lucio Fulci, any Fulci fan will appreciate this uh, great. I love that artwork. I love the Australian VHS artwork. It's great. Uh, despite it has an R on it, it's still censored. It was censored pretty badly. Like all the gore is removed, or nearly all of it. Um, so there you go. It's a shame about how it's censored, but apart from that, this is a this. I just love that artwork. It looks really nice on the shelf. So uh, yeah, that was uh, my first roadshow to show off. Second roadshow. Now, uh, Darren, I sent you a message about this. I found an absolutely mint condition mint condition copy of Basket Case. Let's take a look. As you can see, this is superb condition. This is probably the best condition release I own. Uh, as you can see, the plastic is perfect. It hasn't gone a piss yellow color. It's still uh, clear. So anyway, I'll take a look on the inside. As you can see, absolutely mint condition copy. But the thing is, it has a rental sticker on it. Did anyone even use this? It's a, it's a real mystery to me. I, I can't figure this out, but there's my very proud about this uh, tape right here. And I'll show you the inside. As you can see, it's immaculate. But um, yeah, it has a little uh, promotion on the inside too. So uh, anyway, there's. I'm very happy about this excellent condition copy of uh, Basket Case, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, basically. I agree. Rex Reed does need to get out more. Sickest movie I've ever seen. You see, he hasn't seen much. All right, next release is A Nightmare on Elm Street 4. I mainly got this because of the CBS Fox title, and it was in its original case, and um, yeah, I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, how can you go wrong? Oh, I was very glad I found this one. It's not its original case, it's in another case. It's not the actual original video classics, but I found Rosemary's Killer. Um, the Australian VHS, and I'm very glad I found this because um, uh, it's called The Prowler, but I, pr I like the title Rosemary's Killer, I prefer it. And uh, it is cut by a few seconds, I think, the Aussie VHS, but um, yeah, I'm just happy to have a copy of it. Next one is Spookies. Yeah, spookies. I don't know what this is about. Seems like a ghoulies ripoff. We'll say the yeah, it's pretty low to say it's a ghoulies ripoff. Not even a gremlins ripoff. But um, spookies, I have no idea what this is about. It might be good, it might be fun. I don't know. Last one is next one is Day of the Dead. This is the um, I went up the road, uh, the video guy, and it was in the bin for uh, ten cents. So uh, I got it. It's the original. Um, premiere home video. It's uncut, so I thought, you know, Day of the Dead fan, <laughs> have to get it. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my uh, VHS update. And I'm just, I'm still thrilled about how the uh, condition I got this basket case in. I mean, it's a great feeling to find an absolutely mint condition roadshow, especially one as rare as basket case. Um, I just can't get over this find. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.